millions of landmines are buried around the world, and long after the hostilities end, those devices cause injury and death to civilians. But a Vermont group is working to help landmine survivors and also to clear the way for a safer landscape. In tonight's special segment, Kristen Carlson tells us about Clear Path International. It's lunchtime in the southern Vermont vacation town of Dorset, a common sight, the gentry and their jaguars. But this peaceful area has a connection with war-torn places far away. I think I'm going to paint the trim around the garage doors. A connection that starts with Martha Hathaway and her husband James. They live in the town, but their minds are in Southeast Asia. The Hathaways founded Clear Path International, a non-profit organization that clears landmines and helps victims. These are images that we've taken throughout various trips to, to Vietnam. The group works in Vietnam, Thailand, and Cambodia. So this, this one is Cambodia, and as I mentioned, one in every 236 individuals in, in Cambodia is an amputee. Clear Path just finished a two-year project in Vietnam. With a million and a half dollars from the Freeman Foundation, the group trained the Vietnamese army to clear explosives. And when you're clearing land for military needs, you're basically trying to just get the majority of stuff out of the way so the troops can move. But when you're talking about a humanitarian clearance, you want to make sure that the land is safe for children to walk on. Did you research this? Children are part of the reason the Hathaways started Clear Path. They have two sons. They say landmines often injure curious kids. Landmines certainly don't have an expiration date. Um, they lie in wait and uh, the unsuspecting victim comes across them. Recently, the organization got a $62,000 grant to help accident survivors, money that will pay for medical supplies, education, and training. So our efforts to really connect with people on a human basis, to say you've been hurt and you're so valued as a human being in this world, can make a significant impact. So far, over 100 countries have agreed to an international ban on landmines, but the United States has not signed the treaty, fearing they would lose a military advantage on the tense Korean border. As many people often say to me, it doesn't, it doesn't look like you'll ever be short of work. But unfortunately, no. Weapons used in faraway places, but a concern for these Vermonters. Kristen Carlson, Channel 3 News, Dorset. If you'd like more information about Clear Path International, you could log on to the website. It is www.clearpathinternational.org.